Is this your farm? <laughs> the diameter. You just cut it like this. As it is so, this one is no more needed. So again, to Smart Agro Innovations, your channel that teaches practical agriculture to the whole world. Now, today we are going to center our research on how to produce 500 suckers from just one sucker within eight months. We have been able to advance to the next level. Four years ago, we did a research on how to produce 64 suckers from a sucker. Today, that is the continuation. Our research fundings have been able to prove us good. And for that matter, we have to also make it known to the world. Therefore, we are going to discuss on how to produce 500 suckers from a single sucker. This is how the process goes. After this discussion, we shall move to the field and have practical observation on our research work. To start with, initially, as we studied earlier in our previous video, we said, and our findings that we concluded on was, to produce a sucker after incision and average after removal of eye, produce a sucker. So, we were able to get 64 suckers from one sucker. Now, today, after four months, let's say this is a sucker. This is the procedure. Let's say this is a sucker. A sibling. Wait. So this is our sucker. After producing this in, so this is step one. In four months, we do not remove and then cut the whole thing and remove the height, the eye anymore. From here, we've gotten our eight from just one. So division eight, then we got sixty-four. And it gets to this stage, when the 64 gets to this stage, then we still do incision again. So in this case, we are going to cut the top and leave the pseudo stem over there. Then we do the cross cutting. After cross cutting the whole thing, it is going to give us another 64 circuits. Because each one will give us eight. So if eight, then eight times sixty-four. It means that we are going to get about five hundred and twelve circuits. So step two. When it reaches this stage of four months of wood, then we cut it. So in this case, let's say this is the uh, the ceiling. Then what we have to do is we just go ahead and cut it at the base. We cut it from here, leaving the single stem down here. So this is how it will look like. Now after cutting, This is how it will look like. It will be like this. So after getting it, you know that we have a surface area. Yeah. We have a surface area like this. So what we do is that we do cross cutting. Then we cross cut it like this. We have one, two, three, four. If the surface area is big, 
then we do another cross cutting then we do another cross cutting in the long run we have one two three four five six seven eight surface area representing the curtains so when it gets to this point that is step three now we move on to step four this one getting this surface area then within 30 days after doing the whole thing this is step four so after cutting we cover it with sawdust after covering in 21 to 30 days then we see that it starts sprouting so sprouting will begin from here we have the surface area and the four equal divisions will start sprouting so we had something like this like that and like that so we have eight now from 21 to 30 days 21 to 30 days then this one will begin to sprout so each portion will start sprouting 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 each portion will start so in all we have one two three four five six seven eight sprouting also emerging from the surface area then from there we leave it to stand for two months which is 60 days then on the 60th day we detach all this leaving one over there then we plant all this again in our sawdust within four months so step five that is after four months so after you see that you are going to get a lot more of them I'm going to plant all this over there. We get more sproutings. We get more sproutings over there. So within a period of eight months, this one will take one month for the full work. After that, we get a 64. Then we multiply. The 64 again using this process we use knife to cut we use our knife let's see this is our knife The whole thing. So after cutting, the surface area will look like this, and then within 12 to 30 days, it will sprout again. Then we detach it, and then we plant it on the bed and wait for another four months. So within eight months, this is what you are going to get. So if we initially had, this is the mathematics, initially had 64 circles, and now each eight. Each 64, each one of the 64 is also going to give us what? Eight. You see that to me. Each of these will give us eight. So we'll simply put it to be 64 times eight, which is equal to 512. Exactly. But, but some will die and some will not survive. Therefore, we are projecting 
500 circuits. So that is how it is. Now, looking at these steps, we are moving to the field for practical work to continue so that we get a full understanding. Please, if you watch our videos and you don't understand anything, kindly contact us and then we do brief or detailed discussion to you. So this is how you can do 500 circuits from just one sucker within eight months. So that is how it is. Once again, we are on the field for the practical video. Now, let's look at how we can produce 500 suckers from just one sucker. After multiplication, we had from one sucker, we had 64 of these from one. And out of that, we are going to multiply each one again so that each one will give us another 8. So, 8 times 64 is going to give us 512. So this is the procedure, first of all. First of all, when the circus reaches this side, which is about four months old, then you cut it. If you look at the diameter, you just cut it like this. As it is so, this one is no more needed. So you just have to discard it. Now, this is the pseudo stem left. You have the eye. The round thing here is the eye. Also. All right, so now we are looking for the eye. Pink Jennifer. We are looking for the eye. For your play. So that is how it is. This is the surface area. So I'm coming to do the incision, the, the um, division. So this is how the incision is done. Now, we have it here, so this is what we are going to do, this is the eye, we are no more going to remove the whole thing, we will do the division here, and this itself is going to give us about over 8 circuits again, so this is how the division is done, we are killing the eye, so that there is division, second division, division and the fourth division so in all we have one two three four five six seven eight separate quarters that we are waiting very soon from 21 to 30 days all these each one of these is going to give us one sucker again so we get 8. So if you have 64 of this multiplied again, then automatically you are going to get 512 as an automatic uh, way of producing the sucker. It is very simple. This why you don't need to uh, remove the whole thing again, peel it. No, you leave it like this. So after doing the destroying the eye, then it means that there is a division each half is also going to give us a sucker. So after that, then we cover the whole thing with sawdust. We cover the whole thing with sawdust. And wait, from 21 to 30 days, it will also begin to sprout. It will also begin to sprout. And then that is it. Now, water the whole thing and then we leave it for 21 to 30 days and it will start sprouting 
this is the result after 30 days or 30 days later this was the result that we had from most of the um circuits that we multiplied again yeah. now this was the whole thing it was divided into eight and this is the result that we had this was the result that we had we had one two three four five six seven eight nine circuits from one nine circuits from one meaning that indeed you can remultiply your circuits again so now after getting all these all these must be separated so we separate them one by one then we plant them again all these are further separated so that is it we are waiting for this to mature a bit then it will sprout again we leave it here and then it is going to give us another sprouting you can see they had one two three four five six seven eight nine Circuits again. We are going to transplant this bed and then wait for them to also grow. Then we do another multiplication. So it continues. This is the second generation. That is it. We are going to leave this again within a period of two months. Then they are also fully grown and they can be transplanted. As a result of this, that is why 
continue to say that you can produce over 500 sakes um, from just one. We are leaving it again to grow. And then we do another multiplication from generation to generation. So when this one also grows, then it is going to give us the third or the fourth generation. That is how it is. Thank you very much. This is